I don't understand tree huggers. What has the environment ever done for us? It's not like it provides oxygen, resources for tools, housing, clothes, food, and technology or anything important like that. And it's definitely not like it's home to various species of plants and animals required to keep the ecosystem alive, to continue to feed mankind's insatiable appetite, to destroy, consume, and rebuild in his own image, ultimately resulting in the annihilation of the very world that brought him into existence. Nah, fuck all that. The environment clearly exists for us to skin innocent animals that are minding their own business so we can wear them as high fashion. I mean, just look at bears. All they do is steal my chips and shit in my backyard. Well, guess what, Yogi? It's payback time. And what better way to give it than undercover as one of their own? They'll never see it coming. Welcome to a crap guide to D&D. The druid is what happens when a ranger decides to fully commit to being a furry slash hippie instead of just half-assing it because they're only trying to impress that sexy dryad they met in the forest that one time. They're primarily a casting class, but unlike clerics with their holy senpai, warlocks with their sugar daddies, bards with their awesomeness, or sorcerers with their rich magical parents' inheritance, druid's magic comes from mother nature, and from first-hand experience I can tell you now she's an absolute bitch. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. At second level, you can fulfill every furry's dream and transform into an animal. But not just any old lame neon-colored oversaturated mess like Arjun Darksnout the Rainbow Dog with an indie band t-shirt over there. No, I mean cool animals like my original character, Grabble Jean, the nocturnal giant Toad. Don't steal! Your archetype will be based around whether you want to be part of the forces of nature or if you want it to work for you. To list them off, land for different flavors of spells, moon for when you want to take your fursona to the next level, dreams for if you secretly want to play a cleric, shepherd for if you want to be king of the wigglers, spores for if you want to reenact The Last of Us, and twilight for that sweet, sweet edge. Just like all the classes, your features improve with your level. Where druids differ is that their animal-related features mean that the beasts you summon or wear fur suits of don't necessarily get stronger, but rather they're thrown into the garbage and replaced by things with increasingly more fleas. Moreover, they gain additional features a regular animal couldn't imagine if it was high on devil weed, which gets fucking terrifying at later levels. Imagine this scenario. You're walking in the woods, there's no one around, and your phone is dead. Suddenly, spiky thorns sprout out around you, making movement painful. An adorable bunny rabbit sitting in front of you, seemingly harmless, suddenly starts shooting giant bees out of its eyeballs and turning the tree branches around you into black mambas. Design an encounter for that, dungeon master. And now you know how to play druid, you're welcome. <laughs> 